Hi guys, I just received this Beast class pad from Tekusai a couple of days back and wanted to make a quick video to help decide if it's worth checking out since it's a pretty limited release. So the size of the pad is very nice, coming right around at 500 millimeters in width and 450 millimeters in height and only 2.5 millimeters in thickness. The size is honestly perfect for me and the thickness feels just like on the Super Glide 2 pad and very nice under your forearm. The pad just kind of disappears under your arm. The glass portion is around the same thickness as on the Pulsar pad, but the base is just slightly thinner, but but this difference is something you won't likely notice in use at all between those two pads. But yeah, uh, very nice thickness, uh, very nice size. Then the speed. So I was initially waiting to get a more accurate friction meter to give a better results in the pad's friction, but it surprisingly got delayed, so I had to go a bit old school here. So with the table tilting test, I very roughly took the angle the mouse started to move on the pad and I got some very surprising results. The mouse I used for the test was the Zawi FK2 wireless with the yellow obsidian pro dots applied and then I put some weight on top of the mouse to imitate a hand of the mouse to make the contact between the pad and the skates more even. The Beast actually seems to have a slightly higher static friction than the Kazemi and the Wallhack SP004 which both do have that slightly floaty feel when you keep the mouse still on the pad. The difference between the beast and those is still quite small but this pretty much clarifies why this pad didn't feel as hard to control than I initially thought it would be. Then when I checked how quickly the mouse slid down from the edge of the pad while the pad was sitting at the static 10 degrees angle the beast was much quicker than the comparison. The next fastest was no doubt the Wallhack SP04, but here the difference between those is quite clear. So to sum up how the beast behaves speed-wise, it has by far the lowest dynamic friction of all the pads I have tested, which is the friction you can see when you spin the mouse on the pads, um, but it still retains some of that controllability with that slightly higher static friction. Uh, it doesn't feel floaty, but it still feels super fast to use, even with the Obsidian Pros. Then let's talk about the thing that makes this, for me, an incredible glass pad experience. The non-stick properties this pad has is just incredible. I don't know what they have done here, but this is the first glass pad that I have not felt the need to use a sleeve on it like at all. I know I have said that before with other glass pads like the Kazemi and the Super Glide 2 and um, some other pad, but every time I have clarified that I still prefer to use a sleeve on them because there was still a tiny bit of tug on sweaty skin with something like the Kazemi or the Super Glide 2, but in on this one there is absolutely none. It is so non-stick, it feels kind of wrong the first time you use it. The surface also has this nice slight texture on it that you can feel through your dot skates and I think it kind of aids me in sudden stops with this mouse pad, even though it is so low friction overall. What else? Uh, yeah, the base. Base is really good. Um, it is this full-sized rubber base that makes the pad stay on your desk really well. And the packaging is also really good and mine arrived in Finland with no nicks or marks whatsoever. Oh, and the pad also comes with some unusual ways eSports Silver Fox dot skates that are really good on glass. They are just a tiny bit too thin for my liking, but very smooth overall. But I think that wraps this pad up. It is the fastest and has the best non-stick properties of any glass pad that I've tried. And it is also the thinnest out there currently. So really fantastic stuff yet again from Tekusai and currently this pad is on pre-order or is coming to pre-order depending on the time I managed to edit and release this video. So if you are interested I hope you manage to get one since these will probably sell quite fast and see you later this week with another video. Goodbye.